Oh, fucking hell. Right, second day of my holiday. Um, fishing three rods. I got here yesterday about 12 o'clock. Never casting my rods out till about 6 o'clock. Um, after having a walk round, setting my stall up. Um, tea was at just after 5 last night, so I couldn't see the point in casting out just to um, wind them in again. So I'm here at Petty Petra. Um, it's a nice looking lake, surrounded by trees. I'm the only one on here this week, although the bailiff is going to have a couple of nights, which is thankful because then he can um, keep the fish moving about. Uh, blokes was on last night and they left this morning. They'd had a fish of 28 last night, all one of them had. Uh, I'll get out and show you where I'm fishing in a minute. I have noticed one thing already, um, the red seed mix that I've got with me is too soft. Um, not even getting three hours fishing out of it, but thankfully I've got five kilo of air dried. Um, blue oyster, so some of that's gone on. And I mean, it's um, air dry. It's been air drying since last year. <laughs> so, right, time to get out and show you. in them bushes somewhere. I'm fishing just there. Along there. I've got about I've just put a kilo and a half down there. The next rod is up there near that tree. Doing the same tactic along the reed line. That's just at a kilo. And then straight out in front of me. Um, just in case they're in open water for a change. I'll just put four handfuls of bait out there, four good handfuls, with a throwing stick and just fishing one on it. Um, quick swim, go around the swims. As you can see, it's all reed lined. Should we get to that side? There's a swim, there's a swim, there's a swim, and then there's, there's a swim, and the last one is up there, and there's an island which is just there, the wind's pushing down towards the island, but apparently the fish live in the reeds, so we'll just have to wait and see. Right, sign off, go we'll and put this on charge, I'll speak to you later. Well, the time's up past one. Um, I've not seen a fish bubble, I've not seen a fish roll, and I've not seen a fish in the reeds. Um, the other lake, just over the way there, I've heard a few crash, so after tea tonight I could, I could well and go and have a look um, and start putting a bit of bait in today and fish it tomorrow for a few hours, just take my rods over there, landing net 
and stuff like that. So we'll just have to wait and see. Uh, it's bloody hot out there. That's why I'm still sat in the bivvy. The only one on the lake, so I'm not being antisocial. Um, tied a few rigs up. Three stiff rigs. One with a um, curved shank on it. D-rig style. One with a garden incisor, which I do like for France. Medium shank. Straight point, straight away. And again on the D-rig. And then I've got... Um, what have I got? Oh yeah, Camasam size 6 B175 fish blowback style. But instead of going back through the eye the proper way, I'll come, come through the back. Because it's got a very aggressive interned eye. So coming in through the back it more or less sits, more or less sits straight. They've all been sharpened. Um, so we'll just have to wait and see now. I got here yesterday about 12 o'clock. Uh, had a look round, started setting me bivvy up at about half past one, two o'clock time. Um, tea was at five o'clock, so I never cast my rods out, just put some bait in. Um, it was a long day yesterday, so I fell asleep while I was waiting for tea. Ben the bailiff, he actually came round and woke me up. Um, I came back about six o'clock, quarter past six, casting my rods out. Got in a bed and that was it. Next thing I knew it was quarter past five this morning. Um, one of me bobbins had come off so I'd, I'd had a pick up on that. But I just never heard a bloody thing. So, more in tune with it today. So, right, talk to you after me tea. See you later. Bye. Well, the evening meal has been served. True roast dinner. With apple crumble for afters. I thought Keith's at Moreland's was good food, but bloody hell. These are big portions. Just casting my rods out. Should say just recasting my rods out. Gotta weigh, weigh some bait out ready for tomorrow. Um, I've been round and put a little bit of bait in on Gun Lake. So, it's still warm out there. Very warm. Although there is some wind about because I can hear it rustling in the trees. The lake is flat calm. Um, the bloke wants, because it's up for sale, he wants 250000 for it. And if I'd got it, I'd give him the bugger tomorrow. Lovely lake. You don't hear no traffic. The only problem is, at the moment, it's the small fish. A lot of small fish and there's a lot of tension here. So, if I got it, come November, first thing to do would be a drain down, get rid of everything. Have about 250 carp in it. Trim some of the reeds down around the outside because, um, from what I've seen at the moment, that's it. They're getting the reason they just sit there. So, 
plant some lilies or three or four patches of lilies out in the middle so as you can't overcast anybody you know, so as you're fishing your side of the lake and not the other side bait boats wouldn't be allowed because they're not needed other than that everything will be fair game So, right, I'm going to sign off now and go and put this on charge. Even though I've just cast my rods out. Take my receiver with me just in case. <sighs> Can't see it happening, but there you go. Right, speak later. Day one of the holiday nearly over. Um, I'm just resting on my bed chair now. Time's about quarter to nine, French time that is. Um, still not had no fish, uh, but I've had some interesting thoughts about today. Uh, I've had one or two little sharp little pulls. Um, there could be small fish, there might be decent fish. So just on the one rod that's been occurring on the most, I've shortened the hook length and gone on to a D-rig on a sort of semi-stiff. No, that one's a stiff uh, hook length. It's 15 pound mouth trap. A uh, fish D-rig with the bait tight to the ring so as soon as fish picks it up it's going to the hook in its mouth anyway see if that makes any difference um, the lake is still flat calm I did see a fairly big bubbler I mean I'm not going to say it was a carp uh, but a fairly big bubbler out to the right on well just before tea about half past four um, other than that, not a lot to go on. Uh, I'm happy where my baits have landed this time. So I've got fish bashing in the reeds to the left. So rod number one, the left hand rod. I'm quite confident about that one. <laughs> the middle rod that's casted out down the same margin up close to a tree. So we'll just have to wait and see there. The third rod's just fished over the, just chucked out there and fished over a small bed of bait. Four grand fools. We had four grand fools last night, this morning, dinner time, and then just before tea. So we'll have to wait and see. Right, sign off. Till tomorrow now. Bye.